Hey guys, how's it going? Um, we've been working on the um, canteen cup stove made from a cigar tube. Worked very well, but we were trying to cut the boil times and um, try different lengths, different configurations, and these are the basic results that uh, 10 hours of work have panned out. Uh, for the most part, you're going to need a tube. This white tube is 5 and 3 quarter inches, and the red tube is 6 and a quarter six and a quarter is a better size because when you're pouring the fluid into the bottom um, you're going to be able to have um, a one ounce capacity as opposed to maybe half to three quarters on this end and the problem is that when you're playing around out in the cold or you're in a rush you're going to be spilling some fluid out of these ports so that's um, what i found that the six and a quarter is a good size any bigger and you're coming out too far from the uh, canteen cup stove and now you're you're gonna have to work on heating this extra aluminum to get the alcohol to uh, heat up and boil. So, um, looks like that's about pushing it six and a quarter. You might be able to get away with uh, six, but I'm I'm thinking six and a quarter is where it's at. The second thing that we had to deal with was um, some of the felt, the felt that we're using inside. Originally, I had um, rolled a piece of felt um, that was in the tube. And that was uh, bigger than bigger than uh, one revolution. It was about a revolution and a quarter, and it overlapped, and it slowed down it slowed down the um, the uh, flame too much. So we experimented with uh, a full a full revolution of felt. We experimented with just a little bit on the bottom, just to absorb the fluid, so that you're not you're not um, spilling fluid when you're trying to um, prime it and move it around. And what I found is that a piece of felt that wraps the entire tube and ends before the jets is where it's at. That way when the alcohol is sitting on the bottom it can still boil up with a little bit of pressure um, and if you close it off all the way you, you, you need to increase the pressure to get it out and it's uh, it affects the prime and everything else and the boil times. This is what I found works the best. Um, you want to be able to saturate most of the fuel so that you're not um, losing it when you're turning the tube around. So. The next issue we had, and we've done about 20 different boil tests with 20 different configurations. We um, actually had uh, 15 holes that was kind of in uh, in this shape here. And um, what that would do is give you lots of heat right away and you'd end up running out of fuel before you got to a boil. Um, we tried it, we brought it down and staggered it down to 14 and we still had issues. Yeah, it burned great, the pattern looked great, but we weren't getting a decent boil time. The original thing that I tried was just seven holes down the middle, and um, that wasn't enough. The one that you saw burn in the last video was 13 holes, and it burned great, but we were trying to increase the time. And this is a staggered pattern. The staggered pattern far is far superior to a side-by-side -side pattern on the Jets. Uh, we even went and so far as to try a 19 grid pattern with a couple on the outside. Um, not this isn't going to work at all. So the sweet spot for these tubes that I have found has been uh, 13 to 14 holes, and I've stuck with the 13 and getting some consistent burn times that are uh, better than what, than what we were getting. And the other thing that I did. Um, I'm just going to make my final mod shortly, but um, I've got this tube of felt in here, and it wraps up to just about where the ports uh, are, so that's open, and alcohol can boil freely and move out, but I left about a, a quarter of an inch of a gap right here, and I added some more felt, so that um, you'd get uh, a little bit more um, absorption, of fuel so you don't have to worry about it spilling out plus it would keep the vapors down on this end and I did the same thing with this end down here this end is stuffed with uh, carbon fiber felt so that you don't have uh, fluid sloshing around when you're moving it and as you can see this piece extends down to here so this is filled with felt and on your initial fill up um, you stick your uh, fuel bottle in here and just kind of squirt it down and you don't have any issues with any sloshing fuel at all you can even turn it upside down and prime the back so let's do a test with the new with the um the new mod and this is going to be the final mod because we've we've done i don't know 20 20 different boils with maybe 10 different variations 
So got a new tube, and uh, this is just a uh, Sesta Ray Captiva tube. I'm sure there's a million of them that you can get that are close. And let's see, the diameter of the tube is looking to be approximately uh, seven eighths of an inch, about between three quarters and seven eighths. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tap these holes, and uh, we're gonna do our final testing for the final. Hey mod. guys, the other thing you're gonna need to do is um, this is just from uh, Christmas tree shop, one of those cookie trays. It's it's a piece of silicone. I, mean, I guess you could use a silicone O-ring. I had some of these cookie sheets that were like a buck a piece. I bought a few because I knew I'd end up using them. But uh, just a piece of silicone because what happens is the waxed paper in there is going to eventually melt. Um, and I've had some uh, good luck with sealing with this stuff. And no, uh, the flame isn't directly on it, so it uh, works fine. Let's see if I can get you to see that pattern. All right, so... There's the pattern. I'm pretty sure that uh, this is um, yeah, this is one sixteenth inch drill bit, and that's what it looks like, and that's where the marks are. So you can freeze this frame and just kind of sketch it out. So you got 13 holes, and they're staggered, and uh, that creates a great effect in the best boiling times and most consistent burns. You're probably right, going to want to file the burrs down that are created inside because your felt's going to be catching on it. So um, just grab a, a file and uh, get a quick little file inside, get rid of all the burrs. And uh, then I just go back and redrill the holes in case any of the aluminum was filled into the holes. All right, so I've got a small piece of uh, carbon felt here. <laughs> That's probably. Uh, inch and a half, inch and three quarters by half inch about. You just want to roll something up. You want to have it in the end so that you can uh, absorb the, the uh, fuel. Not have issues with it running out of the holes. So that's going to go all the way in. This piece is, uh, yeah, about five inches long. And it'll wrap right up till the vents. That's about all she wrote. You're going to want a little bit of space like this because um, if you bring it flush, you'll have a tendency for the alcohol not to go in quick enough and it'll s kind of spit out at you. So um, this gives you a little a little empty spot where you can, if you're using like a contact lens solution bottle, and just squirt it in or dump it in and it won't have any uh, reflux on it. All right. of uh, fuel inside the tube. Just primed the felt. And let's see. There we go. There we go. And stop the timer. She's priming pretty good. <clears throat> you got to give her a fair amount of primer like that just to uh, heat the tube up. And get the alcohol boiling and uh, calms right down shortly thereafter excellent and the primer is almost I guess you don't have to prime it too much um, prime is just about burnt off okay prime is done so now it's gonna calm down and um, we sealed up the holes this is a new uh, stove we sealed up the hole so you don't get as uh, clear a view of the flame, but I think you can uh, get it here from the side. I think you can, uh, you can see how the jets are. Working pretty nicely. So we'll see what she does for boil time. Got a green, great flame pattern, as you can see. Right there, 610. So you got your rolling boil at about 6 minutes and 10 seconds. Um, you can see boiling pretty hard. Um, it sh it'll probably burn out in the next uh, two minutes. You're getting an extra minute and a half to two minutes of um, flame. So my guess is that even the ounce will work probably outdoors in cold weather. So one ounce in cold weather, and um, it's got a great, uh, great design concept. And um, 
you can turn you can turn the flame and redirect it to the pot any way you want if you want to just turn it because you can't get to the pot quick enough to keep the water from jumping out just turn the tube to the side it'll redirect the flame going outward it'll slow the boil down then you can bring it back back in um, works sweet that's what I'm going to use on the canteen stove um, the only thing that I probably could have done was made these holes on the side these are one inch holes they're a little big it's kind of hard to, to get the two sides level so I put some uh, tooling foil tape on the bottom just to uh, get it to exactly level and uh, to get it to the height I want um, but I guess if 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 you got some precision machinery you could probably get it exact um, I would probably say that 7 8 is uh, a good um, a good dimension for the whole that's the uh, flint the uh, port pattern and right behind it the priming pad and the I already explained to you how the pad goes on the inside it's pretty important because if you have if you have the pad covering the holes on the inside you're gonna slow down that boil dramatically this will be what I carry with the canteen stove I think it I think it's uh, pretty good I'm this is going to be my final mod. I'm not going to spend any, any more time on it. I don't carry the canteen cup all that often. Um, I do do I do use it a dozen times a year for bushcraft outings and such, but uh, this is probably what I'll be carrying if I'm not using uh, some wood. On hey, the guys, air. one more note. Um, if you did want to add a rem remote fuel source to this, it's pretty simple. Just going to get one of the brass nipples. Um, you're going to uh, just poke a little hole in here or drill a small hole and uh, bore it out a little. Slide the nipple through. There's a nut that goes on the back of it. Tighten the nut up and put your uh, micro line on. And you could use this uh, with a remote fuel source. Myself, um, I probably would just go with with this particular design and, and use a uh, clear bottle so I can mock off one ounce, throw an ounce in, and just use it. Um, if I'm using this type of setup, I'm I'm probably not going to be uh, sitting or sitting around using a remote fuel source. It's, I'm going to be kind of um, moving around and just stopping for a quick uh, a quick boil for tea or soup so if you think that uh, that's an option it's it's um, for you then it's uh, very simple to do and um, you're just going to be running it in the same exact way the only thing that I would do is if you're going to run a remote fuel source I would probably take the um, the felt out um, you, you're not going to have too much of a need for the felt um, and if uh, if you do do it, you could take out the felt out of the ends and just leave a small pad in the middle. But if you, if you take the felt completely out, it's going to give you an opportunity to, you know, if there's any fuel left over, you can pour it back into, pour it back into your, uh, through the remote fuel source back into the, the fuel bottle. And um, like I said, pretty much the carbon felt is in here just to retain the fluid so that it's not uh, moving all over the place when you're spinning it around, priming it. All right, guys, good luck with it. It works uh very well. I'm all done with modding this out. So, all right, guys, peace.